I'm testing the billiard ball mortar today. Uh, we're going to try some new things with it. Uh, we're going to test a rocket beacon and uh, we have the uh, streamer that's uh, hooked to uh, 7.5 ounce soda cans and uh, so we're set up actually in the cornfield today. Uh, the three jugs in the usual uh, range settings, uh, 100, 200, 300 yards. Uh, we're sharing the range uh, with some RC guys uh, flying planes and uh, we got a couple tractors downrange to the far right. So So uh, on the projectile, what I did was I took a long quarter inch bolt and I double nutted it to the bottom of the can. And then I just, I just welded a nut, three eighths nut to the end of the bolt, uh, which actually an eye bolt would work too. And filled it with cement and uh, I got some orange sun-kissed cans. Uh, so they should be, the color of them should be easy to find too. That was my reasoning. And there's the uh, rocket beacon. These come from uh, Pratt Hobbies and uh, they're relatively inexpensive and they take a battery but it's got a little beeping light and a battery. They last probably 20 hours like this. Loading it and firing it. Get ready to fire! There's a paracord held up. The beacon did not, it lost its battery. And I had that battery in there pretty good. So we're gonna to have to tape the battery in in order for this to work. Loaded again this time, uh, 200 grains, full chamber. Uh, got the rocket beacon, we taped the battery in it, and uh, here we go. Get ready to fire. Okay, here it is. I uh, don't know what happened to the beacon. Uh, came off the line. Uh, that didn't work out too well. Um, but we're actually at, uh, actually just shy of 200 yards. That's the 200 yards where the car is. So I'll have to measure it and uh, get back to you on that. Okay, I have it loaded for shot number three. Uh, it's just a can. There's uh, no type of uh, tracking devices on it or streamers or anything. It's just a can filled with cement. It's a full uh, powder chamber, 200 grains. Here we go. Okay, now this can really flew, uh, this shot number three. Uh, it's out here somewhere, I'm looking for it. Uh, it went beyond 200 yards, flew straight. So uh, as soon as I find it, I'll get back to you. It's actually beyond 200 yards. There's the 200 back there. So I'll measure it. It actually broke the can right in two. So and it was it landed out here in the grass. This part of it, I did see another section that I thought landed in the, uh, in the field out here, but that's probably part of the reason why I can't find it. So I'm going to measure it, see where it landed. Okay, the last shot was 93 feet past 200 yards. Uh, that was 231 yards, uh, and it blew the can apart. 
Uh, so I'm going to try a steel can. This is tomato paste can. Uh, I cemented a, just a flat piece of steel in it and uh, bend it into a loop. We got a short streamer on it here. So to give you a better look at it there. So uh, this has more windage where when it fits in the bore, it's a little loose, but we'll try it anyway. Uh, usually I would tape a can. I would tape a can like that. So you can see it's a little sloppy, but uh, we'll try that out. I wasn't expecting this to land this far with the streamer on it and the uh, smaller can, but there's 200, and here it is. Uh, I can stayed intact pretty well. Actually, the streamers stayed on it nicely too. So let's we'll bolts loosened. Uh, on the uh, trunnion strap so I tightened that up and that seemed to tighten the barrel um, that's the reason why we had some barrel flip there and uh, we got the uh, this time a soda can with a streamer ready to fire so this this held up pretty good with the short. I had the short streamer, short paracord. The can took a little beating. It's got some dimples in it. But there's 200 back there, so we'll measure it. I put the wheel out here. There's our tractors over there, 300 yard. Okay, that one was 119 feet past uh, 200 yards, so I'm figuring it's uh, 240 yards. So we'll try again. We're going to shoot the same can with the streamer and give it a try again. Anyway, here it goes. Ready to fire. Use is wet. Not quite 200 yards, uh, blew the can apart pretty good, and uh, there's the 200 jug, so it's short, uh, I'd say probably about 25 feet or so. Um, I'll measure. 27 feet short of 200 yards, uh, taking a good look at the can, uh, looks like it uh, shredded some of the braiding uh, the line stayed together though and the uh, streamers on it but uh, can really took a hit uh, we're firing just a can cement um, I didn't see that one. Uh, I don't know where it went. So uh, we'll go down range and see if we can find it. I saw stuff coming out of the muzzle when it went off and it's actually pieces of the soda can. So it, it blew that thing apart. Here's three chunks right here. So I think it came apart. I saw, I saw it go down range, uh, but it's probably down there in pieces. I don't know if it's even worthwhile to f try to look and find it. Follow up video um, on uh, today's firing session. Uh, I have these uh, aluminum soda cans filled with cement that I fired. And uh, here's the four of them. And um, every one of them uh, failed to a certain extent. Um, you, you could see this first one I fired that had the recovery beacon on it. Uh, it started to rip apart. Uh, 
that was with uh, I think I fired it with 100 grains and then 200 then there's a there's another one uh, that's the one that came in half and there's the one that completely uh, disintegrated what's re what's left of it and uh, when I look at the cement in here it's sort of like powder uh, which tells me that maybe it's the uh, wrong kind of cement I used. Um, I, I used a quick dry instead of the uh, high strength and uh, that could be partially the reason so I think I'm just going to redo this whole deal and uh, try to pour some new cans with the uh, high strength uh, cement and uh, gives, give them some time to dry. These actually um, sat for about two weeks so um, I don't think the drying time was an issue I just think it was the wrong kind of cement for a projectile so this um, steel can it held up very well I mean I just fired it the one time it had more windage uh, so next time I shoot that I'll try it with uh, a, you know a wrap of duct tape it doesn't need much uh, to tighten it up in the bore just a little bit but um, obviously it held up uh, the power cord not so well it started to come apart there with the uh, sheathing so um, but we'll shoot it some more and uh, get back to you I may try cable instead of the power cord we'll give that a try and uh, we'll, we'll definitely do some more videos on this uh, so uh, have a great day and uh, thanks a lot for watching